Good morning, grandkids. Well, now we are finally at Rebel's Cairn. And, uh, good morning, Janessa. Good morning, Amigo. Let's go in here and do this. See if we can't finish up this quest for Red Eagle's sword. We've got that one. I think I still think we're supposed to get another one. So I guess it would be in here. opening um. guys I guess we could have come through here from one of the other places we was at and gotten here but I didn't find the way so I know, we had to trek all the way over here, through the mountains. Hey, looky there, what I spy. He's just an adventurer that was killed. Seems to be a puzzle here, Anigo. What do you think? What do you need? Nothing. Any thoughts? If there's trouble down here, it won't hear us coming. Right, because we are in sneak. Alright, let's get out of sneak. What is this? Careful. Aha. Uh -huh. That is where our sword that we got, Red Eagle's Fury, went. Do we get to take it back out? Or do we never get to have it? Guys, you knew I was going to take a picture of that. And Ego, I always like to get you in it. Everything all right? Yes, I'm bearing up fine. Everything's all right so far. All right, let's get this back out. Where do we go from here? Right there. Right? No, that's where we came in. It's just the water splashing. I don't think that's a tunnel. I thought there would be an opening somewhere. There is. Did we come in there? Or back there? Aha, guys, here we go. Deeper into the cairn. Look, the little candles set there, lighting our way just beckoning us on 
to our death? Oh, we are going to have a fight up ahead, aren't we? Things are going to be jumping out at us. There's a sarcophagus up there. Be careful and be quiet. There's another place like that on the other side. Look up there at the, ooh, the bones in there. Get ready, because something's going to happen any minute, I know. You won't be sighing then, Janessa. There it is. There you go. And that takes care of all the skeletons. That was a good and swift fight. That's Red Eagle. Look, an ebony arrows. Yeah, one of them. That must have been yours, an eagle that got him. Great sword of burning. I hope I'm going to get to keep that. Well, there wasn't too much to that, was there, guys? He must have won it. To be taken care of. Every time I find a soul gem, it's empty. Staff of Flames. Maybe I'll have Janessa carry that. Hmm. Oh, look at that chest back there. We are saving that for last.
What was that? I guess we should have a good picture of Red Eagle, shouldn't we? Is there anything back in there, I wonder? Is there any items up on that shelf over that big head to collect? I don't know. I don't really see anything over there either. <clears throat> I don't think I can get over there anyway. Okay, let's continue on. Is there anything in his sarcophagus? Nope. Oh, 44 gold in that bag. Okay. Don't even have to unlock it. Look at all this stuff. Oh, Meridia's beacon. I'm not doing that. I don't want the gauntlets. A new hand oh, touches no. the beacon. <sighs> Listen, hear me and obey. A foul darkness has seeped into my temple. A darkness that you will destroy. Return my beacon to Mount Kilcreath. I will make you the instrument of my cleansing light. Oh, man. I'm switching swords. Equip. Favorite. Janessa, 
Would you like to carry this staff? We're one of the staff? same kind, you and I. I'm glad to have met you. Well, I'm glad you're glad. I'm glad to have met you too, Janessa. And you're working out really well with an ego and I, but you really don't talk much. And you sigh a lot. You should buy a horse, for one thing. I need to trade some things with you, and then we'll go to a town and you can buy a horse. If that is what you wish. It is what I wish. I'm going to give you this to carry and see if you use it. I don't know if you would or not. And, uh, what else do you have on you? You use a hunting bow and a cheap iron sword. I'm going to give you my other one that I stopped using now that I've got Red Eagles. I'm using that one now. Alright, you can have that one. How about that? Will you use it? We shall see. Okay. Lead on then. All right, guys. Let's figure our way out of here. Is there some place we're supposed to go to get out, or do we have to go all the way back through? I guess we have to go all the way back through. Because I don't see any opening. I do not envy those creatures that make a home in such a cold, dark place as this. Oh, I don't envy them either, Janessa. I wouldn't want to stay in such a place as this either. I don't think it's too far back out of here. That was easier than I thought it was going to be. Hey, can I get this now? Oh, excuse me, my friend. It shut that door back there, too, but we're through in there. Did Janessa get out? Yes. Okay. I didn't know if it would give me back that sword or not. Well, what I think we should do I think we should go to White Run and places and sell off some of our stuff. And what do you think about picking up that Meridius beacon? Now that was a strange sounding quest, but if we took on that job, uh, would we get anything out of it? I mean, would we get us some coin? Hmm. We'll have to think on that, Anigo and Janessa, and decide whether we want to do that or not, or just tuck that beacon away and do something else. But let's get to White Run and empty ourselves of this weight. It's not the way to Rebel's Cairn. This is Rebel's Cairn where we came out of. All right, let's go to White Run. Hmm. 
We'll we'll stop at the stables on the way out and see about buying you a horse, Janessa. I hate you running along behind us as we ride our horses. That's just so nuts. I should get off my horse and let you ride, but I don't think it would let you. Get, I don't think my horse would let you on him. I need to uh, get my enchanting skills raised up so that I can put more on weapons. Oh, look, something's happening here. Will I be able to get inside? Oh, it's still locked. All right. Wait. Let's wait two hours. Didn't clear up that mess. <laughs> oh, it still didn't unlock. Come on, guy, get to work. It's 9.46 in the morning. All right, let's go down to the traders. This is really glitching badly. I guess that's a glitch. He's open. I hope it's not all messed up inside the shop. Maybe it will be cleared up when we go back outside. Come on. Take a good look around. I'm sure you'll find what you're looking for. If not, let me know. I'm Everything's for sale, my friend. Some may call this junk. Me, I call them treasures. Bellathor, this is the first time I've been in here that I think I've seen you behind there. You are always out here somewhere yakking. All right, let's see what I got. We can sell that. I do want to, I no, I think, I think I have that 15 points of stamina damage already. I'm pretty sure I tried to take that enchantment off this bow before and it told me that. I'm going to sell it. I can always get that somewhere else. I don't need this dagger. See, I did give that back to me. Or that's the one I'm using. No, that's the one I'm using. See, man, if we ever got a house, I could display this in it. What did I give Janessa? I forget. We'll have to check that out. Or maybe Anigo would like it. Steel Sword of Frost. I'm going to sell that one with the enchantment on it. And I'm going to sell that one with the enchantment on it. I wouldn't use it. Am I wearing that one? Spells cause I don't do spells. I'm not wearing that. I'll sell it. And we just as well sell that. Oh, and sell that. I could put enchantments on these things. Increases your magic by 40 points. Well, that's great, but I'm not going to wear it. I don't like to wear helmets. And I'm not going to let either one of my followers wear it. We could take that enchantment off, though, and put it on something else. I do want to see Janessa in this armor. Just, 
even just to take a picture of her, but I want to see her in that armor. Then I can always take it off of her and sell it. I don't want to put that headdress on her, though. That's my fur armor. Maybe I can remember to put them on when I'm doing anything, smithing anything. Two-handed attacks do 15% more damage. That's my arch. See, I don't remember to switch back and forth between them as I go from archery to sword. I'll keep it. That's 25. I was thinking each one of these was 50. That's why I was confused about my weight. Although now my carry weight's up to 500. So everyone needs to be a higher level, I guess, to get higher carrying weight in their pouches. What was my bandolier? 75. Okay. Spells cost 12%. I don't do that. Sell that one. I can put a gem on that and sell it for more. Oh, look at that. Let's sell that. Sell those. Got two of those. We shall sell both. Here's where a lot of my weight is, I guess, also. I gotta get to doing something with this. Maybe I could put this on one of those pieces of jewelry and get more for it, but I don't need to keep all of them. Sell them. Okay. Now I've got three. Uh, I wish that all those wolf pelts were... Uh, is it saber cat pets? The saber cat lions that... Janessa wants like 16 of or something that I'll never get for her. In these books, I gave all of, all of the notes I've been taking off the bulletin boards to you, Anigo, to hang on to because I'm tired of them in my journal. can sell that. I read all these books. I can sell that. I still haven't read about the Wisp Mother yet, and I probably never will. I don't have time to read books. Do I need that now that I've done everything? I just as well try to read it, read it someday. I've never read Anigo's Journal, I don't think, or Anigo the Brave. Wow, you can't even sell that. Eltry's Note. I don't know. Crazy Khajiit. I haven't even looked at that. Okay. Thank you kindly, Mr. Bellathor, for your business. Do I don't back. think I want to buy anything. Shiny trinket. 
finest cuts. I'm just out and about, love. The bannered mare can do without that. Yes, by the great Aorla Grey Mane himself. He sold her, was it? What brings you to the market? I'm here to buy food, Nazim. I suppose you don't need to worry about that. Owning a farm does help. All right, let's go in here and get a drink and uh, mosey around. There's not a soul in here. It's totally empty. Wow. All right. Yes, my friend. Ask away. Okay, I will unwind a while. Okay. Janessa? We're one of the same kind, you and I. So Mikhail, I'm glad we'll to have met you. Tonight, huh? I'm glad like too. We'll stay here for a while. You know, Kunda, there's this lovely Albanian valley next door. We've been down this road before, Mikhail. Save the sap Just stay close to me. Okay? As you wish. You do raise a good point. What about the sweet maiden fair? Don't get too far ahead. I think seven siftings for Seeger could do nicely, especially when they're in the cups. Ah, excellent suggestion. I'll do that one then. Ah, I don't want you to get up. Sit. Sit. Sadia, dear? Yes, Mum. Sit. Just a reminder, sweetie. The blankets still need to be washed. Oh, yes, Mum. I'll make sure it gets done. When we were little, my brother and I would sometimes dress up in our father's gear. But it took two of us to raise his sword. <sighs> Alright, I want to have some conversation with you guys. A Nord and a cat adventuring and fighting together. Who would have thought it? Yeah, who would have thought it? Isn't that great? What is on your mind? Any thoughts? Look at all that coin you are carrying. You could buy a lot of arrows for all that gold. Yes, I could. And I had a lot of arrows, but I could buy some better ones, I guess. Let's chat. Yes, why not? Do you fear death? No, I fear reincarnation. If I came back as a chicken, I don't know how I would go <laughs> about ending my life. I could run at a saber cat, I suppose. <laughs> I'd rather be a saber cat than a chicken, yeah. Today is what matters. Every day could be your last. You are right. Let us not waste our breath on tomorrow. Our lungs are full today. Thank you very much. Yes. Let's talk of other things. Good idea. What shall we discuss? Mm, I don't know. What do you think of Skyrim so far? I know you think it's too cold. And you want to be somewhere warm. Uh, do you like... You do like Riften? I don't know. What do you think of Skyrim? I like it. It is cold, but my heart is never warmer than it is when I am here. What do you think of Skyrim? Oh. I like it too. You know I love Skyrim. It is very nice. I wonder if I will ever return home, to be honest. Well, I wouldn't want you to leave my side, Anigo. Goodbye for now. Yes, so wrong. You should buy a horse. How can I argue with that? Well, let's go to the stables and see what they've got. Let's go. Where are you? Where'd you make off to, Anigo? What is on your mind? 
Follow me. Sorry, legs. Break's over. <laughs> Are your knees still bothering you, Anigo? Shadow at your back. Oh, I'm that's just out and about, love. That sounds the cool. Can do without me for a the bit shadow at my back. I guess I can't get out. All right. I don't see a black horse. How old are your horses? None of them's older than nine, and the youngest is six. Now, the horse I got for sale is seven years old, but in fine health. She's got a lot of spirit, that one. We've taken to calling her Queen Auxiger, or just Allie for short. I expect you can name her anything you like once she's yours. Ride strong. Yes, so on. You should buy a horse. How can I argue with that? Black horse of white run. Gold solves most problems, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. I thought you were going to pay for it. Nah, I don't think so. Well, I didn't want to say take it and go because I was afraid you'd leave me. All right, I'll Let's buy go. it. Can I gift it to her then? I'd better be able to, like I did Carjos and Amigos. Not today. Sold my last one. Ah. Pretty sure I sold it to you. Yeah, and you haven't gotten any since. All right. All right then. Well, Janessa, it looks like we're going to have to go somewhere else to buy you a horse. Uh, let's go see if he's got a horse at Rifton. two other places. One of them was Windhelm. Or Winterhold. Let's go to Windhelm Stable. See what he's got for sale. We'll get you a horse, Janessa.
He's probably sleeping. You're just not coming, Anigo. Where have you been all night? She's not the one I want to see. I didn't even think about him having a wife. Hi. Need a ride? No. I'd like to buy a horse, though. Is there someplace else, somebody else, I mean, around here? Mm -hmm. I am in your way. I am sorry. Well, here's a Khajiit. Hi. I welcome you, friend. How may I serve you? Has the war made your travels difficult? Quite the opposite, in fact. Uh -huh. The soldiers are some of our best customers. For we offer supplies and wares they cannot obtain by other means. Interesting. It was Rissad's idea to come here now. While the land is in turmoil, where others saw only danger, he saw opportunity. Interesting. Who owns the trading caravans? It is Rissad who owns the three trading caravans that travel the roads of Skyrim. Long ago, I was an orphan on the streets of Corinth. I stowed away aboard the trade ship that brought me here. It was Rissad who found me. He provided the funds to start this caravan. Nice. And put me in charge of it. I owe him more than I could ever hope to repay. That's very nice. May your road lead you to warm sands. <laughs> yes. Tools, wares, and weapons. All for sale at fair prices. And women, did he say? For sale? Whoa. Listen, guy. I want to buy a horse. Oh, maybe it's this one back here. No, but I hope someday we'll get to know each uh -huh. other. Better. Can I buy a horse? It's for sale if you've got the coin. I got the coin. Here's my offer. That's your best offer? I suppose so. Well... She's the one with the saddle. Sometimes the difference between life and death is a swift steep. We're one of the same kind, you and I. I'm glad to have met you. Um. Uh. Can I get, can't I gift you this horse? Uh. How can I argue with that? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Gold solves most problems, doesn't it? What does this mean? 
Nah, I don't think so. Let's go. It isn't. That is what you wish. How can I argue with that? Gold solves most problems, doesn't it? Of course. Okay, now I've got another horse. Right. And it'll just have to stay there in the stables because I don't know how to sell it. All right, what do I have on my... Okay, it is on there. She got on her horse and he got, okay. Now we've all got horses. Let's hit the road. We are all saddled up and raring to go. First, I want to have a committee meeting. I want you to tell me I really would like to be looking at you while I talk to you. I want you to tell me whether we should do that uh, thing with Meridia's beacon. Do you think we would make any money out of that or that it would be profitable to us in any way? That's a decision that we're gonna have to make. Um, so you tell me what you wanna do, guys. It doesn't everything have to be just my way. You could help make these decisions also. We fight together and we fight as one. So what is your pleasure? We are the Dead Eye Gang, and we need to make this decision together. So, let me hear it. All right, grandkids, this is going to be the end of this episode, and I'm going to include you in this decision. While they're thinking about what they want to do with Meridia's quest, what do you guys think? Would you like to see them go on that quest? Or... Should we uh, take something off the bulletin board here and uh, do that? Let me hear your comments and I will read all of them and then make my decision. Thank you guys for watching. Love you. Bye-bye.